Uncool, astonished. Uncool, aware. Thirdly and finally, uncool, appreciated. Notice verse 51. Then he went down to Nazareth with them and was obedient to them, but his mother treasured all these things in her heart. There's a tension between the house of Joseph and Jesus' true house in Jerusalem. It says here that he went home with them and was obedient. They didn't understand him, but he was obedient to them. Huh? His parents didn't understand him, but he was still obedient? You mean you can obey somebody who doesn't understand you? I guess you can. Talk about uncool, though. I mean, Jesus tells his parents off, and then he acts like a complete wimp, tucks his tail between his legs and goes home. This is the guy you want me to follow? This guy who gets up enough sand to tell off his mother in front of his father at church and you want me to follow after him? Which part? The part where he tells her off or the part where he tucks his tail and goes home with Mary and Joseph? <laughs> I just love this. I love how everything Jesus did all the time was always throwing people off balance. You got to know that his mother was probably rocking back on her heels like, I think I need another meeting with Gabriel. I'm not sure I've got enough uh, stuff in the book on how to raise the Messiah to handle this one. What am I supposed to do with this? How am I supposed to lord over this kid now? I think he just one-upped me and I got no comeback. I got nothing here. We don't have any idea what face she made. We don't know if she smacked him on the cheek. We don't know if she fell over backwards. We have no idea. Because the next thing isn't how she responded to him. The next thing is how he responded to her. She was right, and he was right, and he went home with her. Wow. You know what they call that? It's a mysterious word that's almost fallen out of usage in the English language. It's invisible. You don't see it anymore, because if you could see it, it would vanish in front of your eyes. Uh, it's called humility. That's what humility looks like more finely tuned it's really meekness Jesus is powerful he knows who he is and where he belongs and yet he puts that power under the control of two very sinful young adults you gotta imagine Mary's probably about 35 when this or 25 when this happens she's not some older woman with lots of years of wisdom she's 25 years old she's a young adult and she's got Jesus to raise and now they've been to Jerusalem and they know that he knows yeah it's really cool how Jesus stomps on his mother if that's what you're looking for or if you're a parent you might say look how submissive he was to his parents he went home with them but he didn't just go home with them for a year he went home with them for 18 years 18 more years before he started his public ministry you think, you think a 12-year-old who scored as big as he did with the old men in Jerusalem would be able to wait 18 long years to go back there and wow them again? Not a chance. Not a chance. Somebody would have it on YouTube trying to cash in on it for everything it was worth. Watch this 12-year-old. I mean, there's one on YouTube right now of the five-year-old who preaches. You've seen it? Of course you have. People are saying, what a gift. Trying to cash in, right?